Two projects revolving around water splitting and catalyst research are being conducted by University of South Dakota students under the supervision of Professor Ranjit Kudali. What we are trying in our lab is to uh, make cost-effective technologies that will solve problems related to pollution and clean energy. Ray Pang is a lead student researcher working towards finding a clean renewable energy source. We are trying to split in water by the photocatalytic ways that we can generate hydrogen and oxygen from water. And we know that hydrogen is, is being considered as an ultimate green energy source. Pang has been working with photocatalytic water splitting for four years at USD. A main point to his research is that he works with a pure water source to eliminate sacrificial agents. The process also involves using semiconductors such as titanium dioxide and quantum dots. This kind of work is done by only a very selected group of researchers in the world, and uh, we are among uh, the select few group working in using mesoporous silica as supports and in placing semiconductors or photocatalysts such as titanium dioxide and quantum dots. USD's research has a key difference compared to other clean energy studies in the nation. Ours was the first to use visible light and so in this way we feel that this work is unique and um, hence we are in a select group of researchers working in this area of solar energy conversion. Creating a stable long-term photocatalyst that is reusable is Peng's end goal. He is also hoping to make it as efficient as possible. Uh, I know this is this research can guide us a way that to reach the goal that we can ultimately find the green energy sources that without the emission of any carbon dioxide, which can uh, alleviate our energy crisis and also uh, alleviate the uh, environmental issues. Pang and his research is supported by the South Dakota EPSCoR Beyond the 2010 initiative, which receives grant funding from NSF.